We are live. <laughs> we are. Woohoo! Who we got here? Here we go. There's Marilyn, Cindy. Let's say. Let me just say. Dorian Webb, Joe Jeffers, Leslie, Christina, Beth Hammer, Adventures in the Heartland. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Hi, Cindy. How y'all doing tonight? How is everybody? Everybody doing good? Good to see everybody. Orange Squad. Woohoo! Dorian. Check it out. Go balls. Oh, you better hush. <laughs> Go Gators. Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Cheers from Chattanooga. Well, hey, hello, Shirley. How are you? Hey, Shirley. Cheers from Chattanooga. That's right, Joe Jeffers. Go balls. Chomp. Cashew Paul. Hey, buddy. Hey, Cashew hey. Paul. Hey, hey, hey. We love you, Cindy. Adventures in the Heartland. Uh, just watched your intro video. Did not you drove on the wrong side of the car in Tennessee? Yeah. Well, we do a lot of things weird in Tennessee. <laughs> we do. One of them new right hand drive Chevrolet. That's right. Hi, Flo. How are you? <laughs> hey, Flo. Y'all, if you're not subscribed to Adventures in the Heartland, please go to their channel and subscribe. They they put out some really good stuff. They've got some um, contests and things going on. So, check them out. And Cashew Paul. And, well, sure always ca I'll check out Cashew always. Paul, of course. Always. Tracy. Hi, honey. Hey, Tracy. Hi, girl. Did you say hi to Marilyn already? Yes, sure I did. Marilyn, I miss so, saying hello, hi Marilyn. to you. I was looking at my phone. Hi, honey. I'm happy tonight. I got a belly full of chili. I made chili and cornbread, and she it was so good. I made chili, and it was good. Hi, Mandy Swindle. How are you, honey? Hey, Mandy. Hey, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Mama Bear makes the best chili and the best cornbread. Did you mm. say hi to April already? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> catching up. I'm on the ball tonight. Thank you, Mandy. She loves my hat. And my shirt. Go Gators. Wish I was at a beach with no one around. You know, Morgan, I like the beach for about two days, and then I'm yeah. done. <laughs> I'm the same way. I really like the beach, though. I like to go, and I like to see it, and I like to... I like to fish. Oh, we like to fish. But about two or three days, maybe four, I'm ready to come back to the mountains. As long as I got a fishing pole, I'll stay at the beach. Amber Ann. Hey, girl. Hey, honey. Hey, Amber Ann. <laughs> yeah, you give me a fishing pole, I'll stay at the beach as long as you want me to. Scott Bartlett. Hey, buddy. What's up, Scott? Hi. Morgan said her daughter's about to drive her crazy. No. What was her daughter's name? August. Uh, August? Is that her name? No. Morgan, what's your daughter's name again? Is it August? Oh, yeah. Mountains over the beach any old day. I take the Smoky Mountains over the beach any day. Yeah, Flo. What's your live stream suggestion? She has a live stream suggestion. August. Yes. It is August. You were right. Joe you. was right. I, I was thinking something you. else. Um, John said his biggest catfish is 42 and a half pounds. That's about what mine was. Caught out of Douglas Lake. Oh, I... I don't know for sure what size it was. I don't, we didn't weigh it, but I, it felt about 50 pounds. So has everybody been doing good? Everybody having a good week so far? Big Joe's on a roll tonight. Honey, he's always on a roll. Are you oh, kidding me? Roll. He's got his belly full of chili. I just made chili and cornbread and he's he's full. I so am. he's had a shower and he's had supper, so he's good to go. I'm all jacked up on chili and cornbread. <laughs> Marilyn, they're good. Um, uh, Ian's at his daddy's for a couple of days. He'll be back probably Thursday, if I'm guessing. He'll be back Thursday. And JD's with Mama, of course. I had me but they're little, doing good. They're doing good. A little Cholula hot sauce. Yes. Um, 
Joe Jeffers is having a procedure tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, so everybody, everybody pray for uh, Joe. keep Joe Jeffers in your prayers. He is tomorrow. Hey, that. Carl. Hey, honey. Hey, How Carl. are you? Chili sounds good. It was pretty good, Amaran. It really was. I made it a little bit hot. <sighs> Spicy hot for me, but that's the way Joe likes it, so I just I just put some cornbread in it and stirred it up. I don't <laughs> know if I get Svengoli or not. Ray Harryhausen movies is Saturday. I don't know. We'll have to check have that to out. Check my... Yes. We don't got cable, so we don't get me TV. We're Netflixers. We're Netflixers and, and Hulu's Hulu and YouTubers. <laughs> we do Firebox. Yeah, we have a Firebox. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay, John. Just do what you need to do, honey. That's fine. We're just glad you're here with us. Yeah. I'm glad everybody's here. Did Flo ever say what her suggestion was? She hasn't yet. You know, I could probably get find it on the fire. That's box. cool, Shirley. That is so cool. I could probably find Svengoli or Svengoli on uh firebox. Robin Butler. Hi, honey. Hey, Robin Butler. And Robin, if you send me a message sometimes and I don't reply real quick, it's because I'm Big at Mike. Work. Hey, bud. Are y'all going to that micro wrestling? Oh, you know I'm going. Oh, you know that. Yeah. Some at some point he's going. I ca I used to catch them every time they'd come in town. I've seen them like four times. Okay, Flo, that's fine. She says she's going to come back and comment after you finish live stream. Autocorrect is incorrect is correct in what she's trying to say. Okay. That's if you okay. You want to send us a note on Facebook. You can send us an email or a note on Facebook or Instagram, either one. It's fine. Yeah. Whatever you want to do though, it's fine. I'm going It is. They got a three-year contract. Oh. The micro wrestling does. Robin, he said if you message him during the work day, yeah. that if it takes him a while to get back to you, it's because he's at work and he can't. I, I think I might have told her that already, but yeah. I'm not sure. Um, If you message him during the work day and he doesn't get right back to you, or he reads it and doesn't reply, it's because he's at work and he can't be on his phone a whole lot, but um, he'll get back to you as soon as I he can. I have to message on breaker whenever the boss leaves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like everybody plays with their phones, but I try it, not to be. I think it's going I think micro wrestling is going to be a permanent attraction. Cashy Paul wanted to know if it's yeah. Was they be said permanent. that they had a three year contract with the building, so they're going to try to do at least three years. Gerald Farms, hey, how are you? Hey, Welcome. Gerald Farms. Uh, Big Mike said he's going to go when they come down in July. Coming to the Smokies on July seventh, we'll probably be we'll probably be seeing we'll you. We'll probably be there. Yeah, we will. I'm jealous, Gerald Farms. I wished I had a pool. We do have a pool. Do we? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we do have a pool. <laughs> I forget about it. We have a pool. He never gets in it. That's why he never thinks anything about it, but we I've do never have a pool. In it. He's so silly. We live in a condo, and our uh, com our community has a pool. And he's oh, we got crazy. a tennis court, too. We can go start playing tennis and basketball. and. Yeah, you see me playing tennis. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to play a whole lot of tennis. Jeremy, I didn't know if I said hi to you, but hi. Oh, I didn't see Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's Jeremy. in. He's in here. <laughs> the Traveling Hoosier. It's another channel you need to subscribe to. Yes. Subscribe to Traveling Hoosier. Anybody Ronnie's on here that you're Adventures. not subscribed to, subscribe. Yeah. Adventures in the Heartland. Cashew Paul. <laughs> Cashew else Paul. You see? Cashew Paul said that that attraction gives meaning to micromanagers. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy's always around. Me too. Them little guys, man, they go at it. They, they do. Gosh, hardcore. they go at it. They're pretty hardcore. Shoot. Breaking wet signs, them yellow, you know, wet floor signs. They breaking them over each other's heads mm -hmm. and stuff. Hi, Ruthie. Hey, Ruthie. How are you, honey? Hi, Amanda. Amanda Nading Panda Bear mm -hmm. 1980. Mm -hmm. Hey. 
Me and Mikey's going to start doing videos on my YouTube channel. It's going to be my West Tennessee Championship Wrestling. Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome. We'll check that out. I'll definitely watch them. Do the YouTube shows once a week. There's, There's Jimmy, Jimmy James. James's Journey. Go subscribe. Stacy Fowler. Hi, honey. How are you? Hey, Big Mike. Do you watch uh, Ricky Morton? Ricky Morton does live streams. Mm-hmm. You need to search up him. They do some pretty good matches. See how Stacy. Hey, Stacy. I think we're caught up. Oh, <laughs> John said he's editing the dance party when they we met Adventures of the Heartland at the island. That'll be awesome. <laughs> can I can't wait to see that. Down. I can't wait to see that. Did it rain the whole time you was there, James? I tried to call you back. Who, your brother? Jimmy James. Oh. <laughs> He called me at like 4.09 and I tried to call him back at like 4.19. Yes, it rained the whole time he was there. Well, it rained here at home too, but. The weather is rainy, 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 rainy right I now. I know. Christina and Jeremy, Blondie's Adventures and the Traveling Hoosiers are coming down to see us next week. Next week. Uh, what, what? He bought Ian something. Oh, Lord. Oh. Jimmy James did. Chris Sharp. Hey. hey, Chris Sharp. And Tracy. Hi. And Tracy. And Tracy Sharp. <laughs> How are you all? Oh, I've got an itch and I can't reach it. Oh. Okay, Amber Ann. That's okay, oh. honey. She's got to go. She'll be back in a minute. Okie doke. What'd you get in? Is this a surprise? He's not here, but. <laughs> 21 people here. Awesome. Oh, we do have a moderator. I was like, ooh, we have a moderator. Oh, it's Scott. Mm -hmm. Scott Bright. Scott Bartlett. Mm -hmm. So, has everybody had dinner? We're kind of doing this a little bit early, but. Um, a stuffed Hulk. Oh, Lord, he will die. Oh, that's awesome. Hulk smash. Sandra Jordan. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hey, Sandra. Welcome. Trace, we're good, honey. How are you? That's awesome. Cashew Paul said if he gets a thousand, when he gets a thousand subscribers, he thought about possibly doing another wedding or a vow renewal for someone already married. That's awesome. That's Hi, awesome. Melissa. Hey, Melissa. How are you, honey? Yeah, we didn't even think about sending that. T-shirt design oh, didn't picture, even think Melissa. About that, Melissa, we're so dumb. I'm glad you saw it and was Me like, too. asked to use it because I'm Gosh. like, yeah, that's perfect. We're crazy. I didn't even think about it. Everybody at work keeps telling me that's an awesome shirt design. That's an awesome. I shirt know, design. Scott Bartlett. You have no idea how much we love that. It's God. fantastic. And we thank you so much. I can't thank you we, enough. We, uh, oh my gosh. I, I'm i just, I'm over, I can't believe it. I mean, it's, I mean, it I can it. believe it because I know you're very talented, but, but it blew it's awesome. Life. It was. And the funniest thing, this morning, I went oh, in. Oh, thank you, Sandra. She said my cheesecake looked delicious. I appreciate that. Thank you. I went in this morning. And there's a guy that I work with. He's kind of grumpy a little bit. <laughs> he's kind of grumpy. And he knows it. He'll tell you. <laughs> but uh, he come up and he said, Hey, Jojo, I got a question. Hi, Nathan. I said, what? And he goes, Ask your wife how much lemon you got to put in a pound cake to make it lemon pound cake. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> He sent me a message early this morning wanting to know about pound cake. <laughs> I, Robin, we don't have one yet. They actually um, just went for sale this week, and we don't have one available But um, to show you. But we can put the link up. 
<laughs> Leslie, she's starting to bribe people to subscribe. We, you got a whole bunch today. You got like fifteen, didn't you? That's awesome. That's right. You need to design Tracy a tattoo for sure. Yes, and me, and me one. And day. me. I want some ink so bad I can't stand it. I've got a blue million ideas. <laughs> But. Hey, Bob and Bonnie. Hey, hey Bob guys. And Bonnie. Hey, welcome. Mama Bear don't like my tattoo we, ideas. We did do spread shirt, Cashew Paul. We did. Yeah. We did. We sure did. Yeah, I want what a whole. I want a whole sleeve of clowns. No, mm -hmm. no. Well, if he gets it on his right arm, I don't care because I sleep on this side and I don't want to have to wake up to that mess every day. No. I keep wanting to say, let me show you something on my phone, but we're live streaming on my phone. The next tattoo Joe I Joe Jeffers said he'll draw our tattoos. <laughs> Get it. I'm kind of scared. Get her done. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Poodle lover, hello. Hey, How are lover. you? Welcome. 30 people here. My next tattoo is going to be a lion. You know, Melissa, I'm the same way. I cannot handle clowns. Now, if I just watch them on TV or something, I'm good. But we watched some stupid B movie on Netflix last night. That was <laughs> she the called dumbest. it stupid. I loved it. It was the dumbest movie. But I oh, mean, the it Terrifier. Was, yeah, the Terrifier. If you, it's a B movie, but it's it's okay. But I love it, B movies. It had a it had a crazy killer clown in it, and it was it was dumb. But I, I mean, love. that doesn't scare me. But Lord, you let one come in my. Mm -mm, no. I love B no. movies. I love. We're doing good. Thank you, Poodle Lover. Appreciate that. Hey, Zach Garrett. Zach. Hey, buddy. I'm glad you had a nice vacation. Yes. Zach, did you have a great time? We know you did, honey. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Leader Hose and Zombies is a good B-movie, Scott Bartlett said. Get a Pennywise. Oh, a Pennywise tattoo. <laughs> I want. I want. I will die. A split face tattoo of the old Pennywise and the new Pennywise. Wait. Hold up. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky England. <laughs> How are you, honey? <laughs> Hold up. Ooh, ham and taters and corn on the cob. That sounds good, Bob. Oh, yeah, Bob. Dang, yes. yeah. Baked ham. I love some old dead pig. Do you usually do all the cooking at your house, Bob? Which is totally cool if you do, but I was just wondering. <laughs> I was just wondering if you do. I got a, a good idea of what I'm going to do next, cooking-wise. Something I've never made that I'm going to try. I know, Vicky. We wish you were here in Tennessee with us, yes. too. Yes. We really do. I wish all y'all were here yes. in Tennessee with us. That's cool, Bob. We'd pile up in the park and have a big old cookout. We would. We absolutely would. We got a great park called uh, Warriors Path State Park. It's a state park, yeah. Oh, man, it's a great park. It's got what they call Duck Island. It, it's a man-made island. But it's got all these like cookout pavilions and stuff on top of it. It's a great part. I know, Ruthie. We love Tennessee, too. We really do. My old fishing hole. Mm-hmm. That's where I grew up fishing. We did. Well, come on, Leslie. There's room. We got a new couch. She pile up on here with us. We got a... Hey, we... And the end of our new couch has a... Um, chase lounge. Has a chase lounge on it. We'll just put you in your... In your cast right up on here. I got air mattresses. <laughs> we got Ian's bed. Our address, yes, Vicky, I will give you our address. It is our PO box. Or yeah. our home address? <laughs> I guess just give her a PO box. P it's on um PO box sixty nine seventy one. No, 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 no. Hang on, Scratch I don't even that. know. PO box sixty seven ninety one, Kingsport, Tennessee three seven six six three. Yes, PO box six seven nine one. Just hold that up so they can see it. Oh, well, it'll be backwards. It'll be backwards. Is that backwards? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's backwards. backwards. Tap it in. Okay. You can tap it in the chat. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't backwards. Oh, it wasn't? Should I show them what I got from Simo? Sure. It's over there. We, we got a gift in the mail from Simo. Don't show no addresses. Oh, from Simo's house. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think he really cares because he sends his address up on, all the time. Well, I was on his site or his live stream one night and won a $5 Amazon card. Yay, Simo! And then he said, Hi, Otis, how are you? And you should Welcome. see the picture I took of this with, for him. I was doing this. He sent us a plushie that he won. He did. We were and tickled. And he was also signed. Yeah, he, he signed it for us. Simo in the house. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, Bob. I'm sure of it, yeah. Wish I could mount this right here. What kind of trivia are we doing, Bob? What kind? Oh, Bob has a SEMO shirt. Oh, music. He's doing music trivia tonight. Isn't that cool? Ian hasn't seen this yet, but Ian's favorite color is green. Well, Joe's is too. But, Mine do. Um, Ian Timber will die time. when he oh, sees this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Get the oh, nail gun stop. out. It stick to your Hammer shoulder. Time. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Simo in the house. Thank you, Simo. Yeah, he's not on here, but thank you. He'll, he'll probably watch it later. We love getting gifts. Y'all make sure, if you haven't already, to go um, comment on the latest vlog so you'll be eligible to win the prize. That's the right. Surprise, the prize. Drawing coming up. Yes, probably tomorrow. Because we're going to have to put the 800 subscriber vlog. <laughs> Pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and <laughs> comment on that um, <coughs> on that vlog today so you'll be eligible to win the drawing. Get the nail gun out. Throw your link up for your stretch chart. Okay. <laughs> Stick it to my shoulder. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, throw up the link for the spread shirt. I'm going to. Thank you, Scott, for reminding us. Yes, 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 Scott's yes, on the yes. Roll. Scott's on a roll. He is on a roll. He's fantastic. Okay. I'm going to put that. <laughs> we, it's rained all day, Bob. All day. I mean, it stormed, and the power went out, and it was ridiculous. Yeah, you need to do it, too. You need to stick it in your notes on your phone. Yeah, I need to. I probably will. But there's the link to Spreadshirt. Oh, cool, Cashew Paul. You're going to do um, a vlog about it? He got some stuff in his P.O. box. Cool. That's the first thing we've been sent. Sure, Bob. But we like getting stuff. We would like to do, uh, once we start getting stuff, we're, we've talked about doing Mail Day Monday. Bye, Vicky. Thank you for coming by, honey. Bye, She's Vicky. got a ball game to go to. Love you. Bye, honey. Thank you for coming by. Y'all, let me tell you. It was my brother. Hey, Karen. Hey. My brother come up. Hey, Karen. My brother come up with the best. Father's Day gift we've ever gotten my father this year. We all went in and pitched in and got my dad VIP seats, season pass for the Kingsport Mets minor league team. 
And he loved it. And he is so excited. He got, it was pretty cool because he got, of course, he got a ticket for every home game. Plus, he got a t-shirt. Plus, he got what's called Mets Bucks, which is money he can spend, spend at the concession stand or, or whatever. Yeah. He can get hot dogs. Or something. Oh, my gosh. And he, he got a great seat. We got him an aisle seat. And the seat has his name on it. His seat is right. It, it's. It's on the first baseline. It's right next. It's close to first base, but it's down a little bit and faces right at the pitcher's mound. Mm-hmm. And, and it's second row. Yeah. Right on the end. I'll seat. Dang, Mike's eating big old steak. Ooh, I love steak. I love me some steak. Hey, Cashew Paul said, what'd you get for Father's Day? We went to Pigeon Forge for Father's Day. We, we spent the day with the Sidwells. We did. We spent the day in Pigeon Forge with, Chelsea, with the Tyler, Sidwells. Chelsea, Tyler, Reagan, mm -hmm. and Meredith. And Jimmy James. Yes. Subscribe. Hey, Tyler. They're at the Pirate Show, but he just wanted to say hi. Hi, buddy. Y'all enjoy that. Just talking about you. I know, Tyler. We were just talking about you. Yeah. Um, You or Chelsea won a message us later and tell us how you like that Pirate Show. Because yeah. we're thinking about going, too, sometime. Yeah, we're thinking about going. But we was just talking about you. And they're great people. I saw that, Bob. So that fun. was awesome. They were tickled with that, weren't they? He had breakfast in bed. His grandkids cooked uh, it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with the Sidwells. Oh, yeah. You're at 165, so you've gained 10. Yeah. That's good. But, yeah, we, we spent the day, we spent Father's Day with the Sidwells. They came down. Um, they're from Indiana also. We have a lot of subscribers from Indiana, don't we? But they're from Indiana, and they came down with their two little girls, and they are so cute. They are the cutest <laughs> things. And we had them all. We really did. We had a good time. Little Meredith was running Coyote. around. Cody, Hi, honey. Hey, Ignited Cody. She's running around. She didn't want to keep her shoes on, and I told him, I said, this mountain dirt ain't going to hurt you. No. This mountain no. dirt. It's, it's t this mountain dirt ain't going to kill you. It make it, it grow. These big old feet been sold by mountain dirt for 42 years, and I'm still here. Made it. You made you made a post today that's forty five seconds long, Bob. Some of mine are like two minutes, so I get it. <laughs> Yours today was like two minutes long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bye, Cashew Paul. Thank you for stopping by. He's got to pick up somebody at the airport. Okay, thank you for bye, coming buddy. by, Cashew, See and everybody ya. go subscribe. Yes, to Cashew Paul. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sure most of you are, but if you're not, if you're not, check him out. Go do it right now. Debbie Davis. Hi, Hi honey. Debbie Davis. Hello. Debbie won our uh, caption that picture contest. With my beard. It come out of my beard. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She won it. I still laugh at that. She sure did. We're trying to get past these 100 subscribers. Giveaways, and we're going to do another contest. Yeah, what I think once we get to a thousand subscribers, I think we're going to we're going uh, reel it in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to reel it in. <laughs> we're going to do bigger contests, but we're going to, they're not going to be as often. As often. <laughs> we didn't, we did not count on it being like this. No, we didn't. I mean, we're giving away a prize like twice a week. Just I about mean, we're not complaining. Once or twice a week. We're no, not I'm not complaining, complaining at all. But I am loving it. <laughs> but it's getting expensive. <laughs> yeah. I am loving it. I'm going to tell you right now, my mind is, is, is as blown as anybody's about this. It, when I look at that phone and see them numbers, I'm just like, almost get emotional. What? You were like, what? You oh, should. Yeah, yeah, John, you should. You should do another one. Absolutely. Look what Jimmy James did. Oh, I know. I saw that. All right, Bob. We'll see you after a while, honey. See you, Bob. Thank you, Karen. Bye, Zach. Have a good one. Thank you, Marilyn. Blondie's up to uh, 306. Way to go, Christina. Yeah. Way to awesome. go, buddy. Yeah. Karen's story, when you going to find yourself in Tennessee, honey? Right. 
Come on now. Come on. Come on. When are all y'all going to find Thank you, Mandy. Tennessee? You're precious, honey. I know. You all need to come see us. We've got Blondie's Adventures coming this week. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Leslie said we're stars. She's excited to be here since the beginning. Don't forget us little people when you've got millions. Leslie, Never. when we've got millions, we're just going to move you all to Tennessee. That's How's right. that? When we got millions, we're just going to start a... <laughs> we're going to create we're just a gonna, We're just going to get everybody to live here with us. So we don't have to be, you know, we don't have to be far away. Oh, good, Karen. She's trying to... Okay, Melissa. Um, Karen's story says she's trying for the first week in October. Yay! Awesome. That's going to be a good meetup. <laughs> We wouldn't forget about you either, Scott. Scott, I could never forget about you. Gosh, no. Gosh, no. We would never. Thank you, Karen. She put our link up for Spreadshirt. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. Who's that? Oh, wow. Julie Jordan. Hello from Prince Edward Island, Canada. Joe and Malia. I can't wait to visit Pigeon Forge later this summer. I hope to get to meet... Yes, yes, Julie, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Julie. welcome. From Prince we Edward love Island. Yes. We love meeting you guys. It's the um first full not the first full week in October. It's the last few it's it's the first weekend in October. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Flo, I hate to hear that. What? She's having trouble with her iPad. Joe, did you call Spreadshirt about a special order? No, I forgot. Goober. I've been busy and a cat covered up crap. Yeah, I think it is, Leslie. I think I think the meetup's October fourth. Yeah. Because that's the night we're coming in. I think I think everybody else is kind of coming in earlier in the week, but we're not. We coming might come down. in a day or two early. We might. It we just might. depends. It depends if I've gone back to work. Or not by them, which I'm hoping not to. And it also determined by whether I got still got sick days. <laughs> right. I'm kind of digging this housewife gig I've got going on. I've got three sick days saved up, and I'm trying to keep them until October. In Pigeon Forge, John, at, we're on, at the island... We're going to stay the 4th, 5th. I think we're coming back home the 6th. We're going down on Friday and coming back on Sunday. But I think, yeah, Scott and Tracy and a few others are going to be there Joe like Jaggers. all week. Yeah, they're going to be there all week, but we're not coming down Kendra. till Friday. Right. Honestly, don't know who all is going to be there. That's the ones I know for sure. Who was it said they was Leslie said she's been a housewife for 10 years and she's killing it. Girl, I, this is my third week and I'm killing it. I love it. I do. <laughs> I agree. She's killing it. Joe likes it too. It's just, it's hurt the bank account a little bit, but you can live on, you can live on less. <laughs> what do you say? I'm more like Iron Man. Yeah. At least Scotty's world. I didn't even see him come in. I'm the Hulk. Because you have on the Batman oh. shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, John, let us know when you're coming. I know. Marilyn's coming in the middle of July. I can't wait. I can't wait, Marilyn. Leslie, have you ever stayed at Cherokee Lodge, or is this your first time there? I looked at that, and they've got some really cool-looking rooms. Shirley, what do you do from home? I thought about getting a work from home job. But... I would love if she could do a work from home job. Mm -hmm. That's right. Housewives Club. Shh. I'm an old slave like a dog club. I'm I'm looking at that for when we stay down there too, Leslie. So we might be neighbors. Neighbors, won't you be my neighbor? I know. I saw. I looked at it the other night, and you know, to be condos, they look to be really reasonably priced. They really do. Do Disney reservations. 
I know I'd love to be neighbors. I don't do What's Disney. talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about Jimmy James doing re- Disney reservations? Scott Barlett's Kendra, Cindy, Joe, Jeffers, Cashew, Crystal, Nikki, us, maybe Josh, Karen, David, and David and Rhonda. Yeah, I'd say Josh Benton will be there. He doesn't live that far. Yeah, he don't live that far from home. <laughs> Cody oh. said his wife's been a housewife for 22 years and she's killing him. <laughs> that's hilarious. He's saying do Disney reservations from home. As a oh, job. that's okay, Flo. That's right, Scotty. Do what you... He's saying do Disney reservations from home. Oh, okay. I As understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I could do that. That'd be a cool job. Shirley, I saw that. I saw that you make those coat of many colors for dolls. That is so awesome. It is. Oh, you make them for little girls too, not just dolls? I thought you just made them for dolls. That is so awesome. Brendan, hey. Brendan the Gents here. Hey, hey Brendan. how are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do, Jimmy James. You need some of those dolly coats for your Barb dolls. How's your ankle doing there, Leslie? Are you able to put any pressure on it or move it or anything? No, she's got to wait four weeks. Before she can put any weight well, on Well, I know it. I seen her the other day said something about it. She couldn't move it. I was just wondering if she's able she to. She got her staples out. Yeah, because they said me. about the. <laughs> I heard her say about the Frankenstein leg. <laughs> no weight for four more weeks. Oh. Do you have one of those scooters where you put your knee on it and you. Scoot around Scoot yourself the around the house? Because I would go nuts if I didn't have something I could. Right around on. It's stiff as a board, but I'm trying to move it a little back and forth. Yeah. Big D, hey. What's up, Big D? I feel you, pain girl. I I dislocated my knee. I mean, I bent my leg and I doubled my leg. My foot was up here under my arm. I broke my leg, my knee so bad, and I was on the sofa for thirty. I will, Shirley. I sure weeks. will. I'll look that up. Ivy Rose Boutique. I'm going to screenshot that so I don't forget it. 13 weeks on the sofa. It was awful. Yes. Had a stabilizer brace that kept my legs straight. Had to duct tape trash bags around it to take a shower or take a bath. It was awful. All right, Scott. We'll see you later, buddy. Scotty's World's having to go eat. Bye. Hope you're having something good. I know I did. Yeah, I know it Leslie sucks. Leslie said it sucks, yeah. I know it sucks. Yuck. I feel your pain. Yuck. I hate it for you. I had chili tonight, guys. Mm, I'm all jacked up on chili and cornbread. Chili and cornbread. I made it. And he said, why don't you vlog that? And I said, it's too easy. <laughs> it's just way too easy. It's not, there's just nothing to it. Yeah, but that's what, that's the best kind of recipes <laughs> to vlog is the easy kind. I know. I probably should have, but Lord, it was simple. Here's the thing. She says, oh, it's too easy. It's easy. It's, it's easy to you. Come get you some, Jimmy. I've got plenty, honey. Hey, Toby. Some chili, come Hi, get some honey. Chili. Yeah, if you want some chili, come get some. I've got plenty. Seriously, just come on over. And Charlie. Hey, Charlie. I bet Toby and would. Charlie's both here. Chili hey, and cornbread. Get... Toby. And look who's here. Wayne Stroh's here. What's up, Wayne Stroh? Hi, buddy. Stroh time. Well, come get some, Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Come on down, honey. We got we got plenty. You got a big old pot. If we run out, we'll make more. Yes, Lord. The store is right up the road. <laughs> he told me I ought to vlog how to make my cornbread. I said, I have no idea how to tell him. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know any measurements. I just mix it all together till it looks like cornbread and bake it. Just do like other cooking shows or cooking vlogs we've seen. You put Karen, some you're of awesome. this Thank in you, Karen. 
and you put some of this in it, this is what it looks like. I don't know how to tell you how to make cornbread <laughs> because I don't measure it. I don't even, I don't know. We've seen some cooking videos and stuff that it's like, you put a little bit of this in it, and you put a little bit of that in it, and a pinch of this, and well, this is what it turns out. That's to how look Marilyn like. makes her cornbread. Yeah, you can't tell somebody how to make cornbread, can you, Marilyn? They just—I mean, they can. You, they can come over your house and you, they can watch you. <laughs> but I don't know how much milk. I don't know how much cornmeal. I don't know how. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I need to. I need to vlog biscuits. I make good biscuits. Thank you, William Loudy. I appreciate that, buddy. I still need to do pancakes. William Loudy said hi. He's cooking, but he just... Hey, William to... Loudy, you cooking anything good? Yeah, what are you cooking, William? If you're not subscribed to William Loudy, Smoky Mountain Hiker, go subscribe. Heck yeah, if you're not subscribed to anybody in this... In this, Time, in this... subscribe to Strotime, subscribe. Jimmy James, Thing. You just subscribe. get it. Adventures in the Heartland, subscribe. Yes. Anybody that you're not subscribed to, go subscribe. <laughs> Toby said Rhonda was just saying the same thing. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Almost at the same time. <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> Do we got milk? A little bit. Not much. I want some cornbread and milk. I mean, y'all love cornbread and milk. This girl. Well, has two thumbs and loves cornbread and milk. This guy. This guy. I don't know. Some of you folks not from Tennessee have probably not had cornbread and milk before, but it is awesome. No, I don't do buttermilk. No. No. No, 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 no. I got to have whole, good old whole milk. Oh, he's making ramen noodles. That's okay. That's what Mama Bear had last night. I had that yesterday. Hey, I love cornbread and soup beans. Noodles. Lord, yes. I can make some good soup beans, too. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, she made soup beans the other day, and I took them to work, and I put my spoon or my spork down in it, and I pulled up. Hey, I, Stubbs, how you doing? And I had a golf ball. Welcome. Hey, Stubbs. had a golf ball-sized chunk of ham in there. Everybody was like, wow. Everybody at work's amazed by my lunches. They're like, everybody comes by the table to see what I'm eating because they're like, man, your woman can cook, dude. <laughs> I've got him spoiled a little bit. Uh, yeah. A lot bit. Oh, daddy's got it good. <laughs> <laughs> he does have it pretty good, but, you know. I, I don't complain. He's spoiled. Really, really spoiled. I'm very fortunate. Yes, he's very fortunate. I'm very fortunate. But he's very spoiled, too. <laughs> I'm fortunate. There's my sister. There's Mandy Stucky. Hi, honey. Standy Mucky. You're my sister. Standy Mucky. They are all spoiled. They are. He's Leslie said, you're a blessed man. I am a blessed man. Mm -hmm. The good Lord. Has rained his blessing down upon me <laughs> with the woman. Toby said his wife that you all that he is too that you've got gals that love to cook. That's There's right. Doctor Pepper. Lord, up, Dr. hey Doctor Pepper, how you doing, honey? Yeah, I spoil my sister too. <laughs> we spoil each other. She spoils my kids. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Pepper. We appreciate that. Lord Mandy Bland, I thought you'd done left the country. Yeah. <laughs> she said she finally made it. She was at the doctor with... Ooh. Is your dad okay? Well, there's Lily. Hey, Lily. Hi, Lily. How are you? She's from Newfoundland. Oh, she just had a checkup. Okay. Yeah, she's from Canada, too. Oh. Yeah. I want to go to Canada so bad. No, with a taser in your car. Just ask Jacob the carpet bagger. Yeah, don't go with a taser in your car, <laughs> Jacob the carpet bagger. <laughs> you might go to little Canadian jail. <laughs> We're doing good, Lily. I want to go to Canada. Dr. Pepper, we, you hadn't missed much. We was just talking about cornbread. I want to go to Alaska. And chili. And, and soup beans. And Alaska. 
Talking about Canada and Alaska now. All right. Bless your heart. Hi, Denise. Hey, honey. Mindy Bland said her daddy's 87, so she drives him everywhere. Well, bless his heart. Awesome, Stroh Time. Thank you, You're Wayne. The best. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. If y'all ain't subscribed to Stroh Time, or ain't caught one of his live Stubbs, streams. Stubbs, we do too. That's what we have for supper tonight. I made chili and cornbread, and it was really good. Y'all have to check out Stroh Time. Ooh, Mandy said that she had beans and fried cornbread last night. Lord, yes, I love fried cornbread too. Is my little friend still over there? Oh, he's right here. Yeah. You gonna show him what? Stroh Time. What we got look from Look what Simo sent me. Wayne, look what Simo sent. <laughs> we got it in the mail. Simo <laughs> in the house. Scott Bartley wants me to take a nail gun and nail him to my shoulder. Roxy, Foxy, and the Dr. Pepper Show are only five away from 100 subs. So if you're not subscribed to Dr. Pepper, go subscribe. Subscribe. Your brother ate at Mama's Farmhouse for lunch today. Yum. Hush your mouth. Hush it. I wished I had went the other day, but... We got pizza. We got pizza, which just is good, because we ate big daddies. With some good company. We did. The Sid Weld. John Chum Adventures, hello there. Oh, they had peach butter. Hello, John Chum Adventures. How are you? Welcome. <clears throat> John Chum Adventures. Mm-hmm. Mandy said she bought her daddy a bike, but the sheriff called her one afternoon because they found him riding it on the bypass. Bless his heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. Wayne, thank you and Casey both. We appreciate that. We really do. Yes, thank you, Wayne and Casey. We appreciate it. We'll support you guys, too. We yes. do. We love Stro time. We sure do. We love Stro time. It's always stro time. It's always stro time. <laughs> Mindy, I bet he is a handful. My goodness. <laughs> Thirty eight people in the chat. Awesome. Y'all are awesome. We love each and every we one do. of you guys. We do. I like to live stream more often. It's just hard for us sometimes. It is. It's hard. We stay busy. I, well, when the kids are here, it's, it's it's a little more hectic. Big deal. Be in Kingsport. Well, come on, honey. What are you going to do in Kingsport? Who was it said they was moving to Kingsport? Was it Dr. Pepper? No. He's moving to Tennessee, but not Kingsport. Somebody told us the other day they were moving to Kingsport for a job. Oh, he's got to get his allergy shots. Lord Big D. You don't remember that? I don't. Big plans hmm. this weekend. I don't know. And the reason we don't know is because we never know about Joe's work schedule. Yeah. If Joe is off Saturday, we are going to the island in Pigeon Forge for the meetup again. But if he has to work, don't know. No plans. Thing is, is I swindled my way out of not working two weeks ago. Right. And then this weekend was Father's Day, so they give the whole Mandy plan Mandy Swindle, off. yes we can, girl. So. I love him things. I'm not sure. We're going to try to, William. I know, I know Will and Dawn aren't going to be there, but... Um, we're going to try our best. If Joe doesn't work Saturday, we most likely will be there. Yes. I might have to use one of them sick days I was talking about. Yeah. I could take a sick day Friday. You take Friday denim, off. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> Joe Jeffers said that. What's denim. Mario's pants made out of? Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. That's his favorite joke. Denim, denim, denim. He's got Ian saying it all the time, too. Denim, denim, denim. That's my favorite dad joke. Yes. 
Which I can't funny. say my favorite joke on here. No. I was raised by a truck driver. Bye, Mandy. My sister Mandy's leaving. <laughs> Bye, Mandy. She's got to go pack for her trip. Where's she going? Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. She's going to the Pittsburgh. My sister's going to Pennsylvania this week for a, uh, her husband's family's from Pittsburgh or that area. And they have a family wedding to go to this weekend. So she's going there. Can't Lisa McGuire, how are you, honey? Recovering from a long weekend on Lake Cumberland Thunder Run. Wow. Awesome. Yes. That sounds great. And I can't wait to see that video, Adventures in the Heartland. Okay. Dr. Pepper has a good joke. My wife told me to stop acting like a flamingo, so I had to put my foot down. <laughs> good one. Good one. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Lady Bass. Hey, girl. How hey, are you? Welcome. Of course, I'm a welder. And I was raised by a truck driver and a round truck driver, trucking. <laughs> so most of my jerks, jokes aren't very appropriate. Cody used to live in Pennington Gap. Well, that's just that's over the cool. hill. Yeah, that's just, just over the mountain. Yeah, That really ain't far is. from us at all. What, about 30 minutes? Yeah. That ain't far at all. Lord Scott Bartlett pulls for the Bengals. And he put mm -mm. my foot down. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to tell that. That tomorrow. was a good one. I'm going to tell that. Yeah, tomorrow. that was a good one. That was so funny. For you people. Awesome. Well, the 4th of July is coming up. Has anybody got any big plans for that? For that holiday? Yeah, not work. Yeah. <laughs> be, be off home. work. <laughs> I like to get some fireworks. Some fireworks. On the 4th of July, we're probably going to the parade here in town. You reckon? Unless we go to Pigeon Forge and Gatlin Week. It's on a Thursday. You have to work Friday. Unless you don't. <laughs> Unless you don't. <laughs> well, I know there's going to be a bunch down on that weekend. I think we get two days off. Oh, do you? Okay, good. Yeah. Um, Big D said you're the missed brother from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny because... Mindy Bland plans to sleep. We were at the island one night. Lisa's going to be at the lake. And Mike was live streaming. And I'm standing there with him. And these four teenage boys, two of them run up and was like, hey, can we take a picture with you? And I'm like, okay. And they're, they're like, hey. And they're like, you look just like the guy from Duck Dynasty. Lisa, we love Kate's Cove. We love it. That's where we got married. Um, The best fireworks in the area. Yeesh. Not in this town. They're pretty good, but not in this town. Rogersville. Area. Probably Rogersville. Yeah, they, they're really good. Rogersville. Um, Ian is doing good. He's at his dad's for a couple of days, but he's coming home Thursday, so beware. <laughs> Did you say Rogersville? Rogersville. It's Rogersville. Tell her, Toby. It's Rogersville. <laughs> Mandy Swindle said she was raised by truck drivers and married one. My daddy drove a truck for 30, almost 40 <laughs> years. My papa was a truck driver. Got a bunch of uncles that's truck drivers. My best friend's a truck driver. I used to get in a big truck with him and ride all big over Big D says country. he's going to Fun Fest. Big D, we're going too. We're going too. Let us know what day for sure and we'll meet you down there. We'll be at the fireworks for sure. Oh yeah, we definitely will. We always do the fireworks and we always do the parade. parade. Yeah. We are in East Tennessee in Kingsport, Tennessee. Right below Bristol. It's yeah. Bristol, baby. It's Bristol, baby. We live about... Well, yeah, I say we drive up to Tracy's house, too. Let's do we it. have a bonfire. I'm with you. We plan on coming to Ohio to see a bunch of y'all. Yens. Yens. To see a bunch of yens. 
What's our favorite restaurant in Pigeon Forge? Lord, let's see. Hmm. Let me see here. Um, hmm. There's some good ones. Lady Base wants to know if you like drag racing. Let me think about the restaurants. I love drag racing. We like Mama's Farmhouse. Bennett's. We like Bennett's Barbecue. In Townsend, toward Kate's Cove, we like Smoky, Smoky Joe's. Joe's. That's also a barbecue place, and it's awesome. But she said Pigeon Forge. But you said Pigeon Forge, but that's Smoky Mountain area. And um, for pizza, we either do Big Daddy's, J. Dale's, or Mellow Mushroom. We eat Mellow Mushroom a lot because there's a certain pizza I like. It's called the Hey Dude. Heck yeah. And I love drag racing. And I got on TV uh -huh. with the Street Outlaw guys when they were in Bristol. I was going... Woo! Let's see. That was a long. John said we could come life. up here and camp in the backyard. I'd love that. Hmm. Adventures in the Heartland said we could come camp in their backyard. Shoot, I and love And Scott camping. Bartlett has a question for you. Do you know the price of deer testicles? Not sure, but they used to be under a buck. Ah, under a buck. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one, Scott. Hmm. Uh oh. Simo! <laughs> I had to let him read it first. <laughs> I was reading the one above it and was like, what the deal? Simo <laughs> in the house. Look, Simo. We already showed him. Simo sent this to us in the mail, guys, and it's fantastic. Oh, good. We'll, we'll, we'll find you, Big D. We really will. We'll be there that night. John from Adventures in Heartland said he used to race figure eight at Louisville Motor Speedway. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. <laughs> Wayne says Simo's always following him. <laughs> he does look good with the bear. Until Ian gets home Thursday and then it'll be gone. It'll be Ian's. <laughs> this is me for the rest of the live stream. <laughs> with the hat on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dollywood does nightly fireworks for um, a little while in the summer anyway. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They got good fireworks, too. Oh, yeah, they do. I think it's cool that the people who do the fireworks for the Kingsport Fun Fest are local people. Uh -huh. They're from our region. Yeah, they are. And they put on an amazing show. They really do. I oh, know. But Rogers will still. John said he had a 1976 old Delta 88. That's cool. That's cool. I used to. We used to have a Delta 88. Big old. Car. Oh yeah. Just got off the farm. Simo watermelons coming to a Walmart near you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. I love some water watermelon. Yeah, William Lottie said he thinks that the the um, fireworks at Dollywood start this weekend. That would. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait. That would be awesome. Yes. Love me some watermelon. Yes, we do. We're like what we like watermelons. I'm gonna remind y'all to go um comment on this morning's vlog so you'll be eligible to win the prize. That's right. Go comment win on the, the prize. The giveaway vlog. Yes. Go comment on the giveaway blog so you're yes. eligible for the giveaway. Oh, we're, show. We're probably going to be drawn for it uh, or using the app, to the Picket app, to choose the winner probably tomorrow evening when Joe gets home. Okay, Toby. Okie doke, Toby. Dr. Pepper wants to know what your first car was. His was a 76 Mercury Montego. My first car... Was a seventy two Chevy love truck. I did, big D. Side. I sure did. I saw that. My it was a step side love truck, seventy two model. And I wished I'd have took better care of that truck because it probably would be worth something now. Because there, I that's the only step side love truck I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. But it was a nineteen seventy two Chevy love truck. 
Little bitty old truck. Well, there's Kenneth Oaks. Hey, buddy. Hey, Kenneth Oaks. Welcome. He was one of our winners. Yes, Kenneth Oaks won one of our latest Simo drawings. won our last one. Simo won the last one. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed to Simo, go do so now. Mindy said hers was 82 Chevette. And go subscribe to Adventures in the Heartland, Blondie's Karen, Adventures. Karen, thank you, honey. And anybody else you haven't subscribed to. Oh, yeah. Check them out. Check everybody check out. Check everybody we out. We love that. Thank you, Simo. We appreciate that. Thank you. We do appreciate that. Oh, bye, Debbie. Thank you for stopping by, honey. We'll see you soon. Bye. Well, that's awesome, John. Send you two Pontiac, Pontiac Grand Prix, Grand Prix. LG model 400, four barrels. Wow, that's a that's quite a car <laughs> for your first car. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Leslie said her first car was a '92 Geo Prism. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> Them Geos were tough. Yes, yes, they were. A buddy of mine, Jacob, he had a Geo Thank you, Storm. Thank you, Appreciate that, honey. And a little five-speed Geo Storm. Man, he ran the wheels off that thing. Your brother said he had a 76 Pontiac Bonneville. Huge light land oh barge. Oh, my God. Let me tell you about this thing. It was as long as this house. Bonnie, that Bonneville was huge. And you could you could run it in a ditch and just jump out. It had palsy traction rear end and under it. That thing was like a tank. Joe Jeffers said he had a 67 Thunderbird. Awesome. Yeah, for a Ford. <laughs> I'm a Ford person myself, so I for think that's Ford. fantastic. For a Ford. <laughs> See, 1967, that's still when Fords were good. Mindy Bland said she put airplane fuel in a Geostorm. What? <laughs> I bet that thing run. John said his second car was a 72 Mercury Comet. Straight six has three on the tree. That's awesome. How long did it run, though? That's what I want to know, Mindy. I do, too, Leslie. I like <laughs> big old cars. Now, nowadays, cars are like, like this. <laughs> They're so small. Mindy, could you, or Joe Jeffers, um, approve that? Raced it for two years. Facebook request, awesome. please. <laughs> Dr. Pepper just requested to join our Facebook page. So, Mandy, if you or Joe will get that, I appreciate it. Me too, Kenneth Oates. <laughs> I seen you and your dad the Amber other day going down the road in your Chevy, Chevy pickup. I tried to get up beside you to wave and everything, and traffic caught me. The red light caught me. I turned on Rock Springs, and <laughs> and there they were. And I was like, hey, trying to get a hold of, trying to get up there to wave at you. Seventy one and seventy three Mustang Mach one. I may or may not have drag race down Dixie Highway on Friday nights. May or may not. <laughs> That's good, Karen. Now let me tell y'all something. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I oh. had an I rock black I rock. <laughs> I do. I like old Mustangs, too. I really do. I'm a Ford person. I used to race the wheels off that I rod. We got a thing in, in, in Kingsport called Long Island. And it's it's a long straightaway. It's where the East Tennessee Eastman is. But the Long Island is just a long straightaway. And there's two red lights at it that are, that are an eighth mile. Thank you, Mandy. Scott Bartlett said he had an 82 Silverado diesel, but had motor switched to a 35 old rocket police interceptor motor. Had two tanks. Sure one did. alcohol, one gas. Wow. And Nathan had a 83 Chevette. Awesome. And his favorite, okay, John's favorite one was a 76 Cadillac Fleetwood four-door. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Karen said that she may or may not still do it. <laughs> yeah. Had a girl. Yeah. I had a Fiero one time. Do y'all know what a Fiero is? Uh-huh. I had a Fiero one time, and me and my dad pulled the engine out and rebuilt that engine and built it, and it would run like a scalded dog. <laughs> it had a four-speed in it, and what's funny is <laughs> I, I was coming down uh, Fort Henry Drive, and these two little boys in this little, I don't remember what kind of car it was, a Honda or something, they thought they was fast and furious, and they yes. come by me revving their motor. <laughs> I got to the red light, and I went, one, one, kind of jumped it a little bit. When that red light turned green, I smoked them. 
I pulled the paint off their cars. <laughs> I sucked the doors open on that car. And then we I pulled into the mall. When I pulled into the mall, they got out and was ready to fight. They were like, look here, dude. Look here, dude. <laughs> well, they didn't realize a silverback gorilla was about to roll out of a Fiero. <laughs> so I roll out of that Fiero. And when I stand up, they're all going, they're, they both go like this. Hey, man. Um, um, hey, man, that's a cool car. Uh, that's a fast Fiero, dude. They wanted to fight until I rolled out of it. Because, <laughs> you know, you see, and it, you see a Fiero, you think some little bitty dude's in it. You don't think that a 400-pound guy's in a Fiero. But I Karen Story it. said 351 Cleveland. I got a 71 Chevy long bed right now I need to start working on. Yes. Big guy in a little car. Big guy in a little car. <laughs> That's what Dr. I've owned some little cars. I had a Mazda 626. I had a Ford Escort. Well, there's Sonya. Hey, Sonya, honey. How are you? Hey, Sonya. Great girl. That's right. How are you? How's that youngin? She growing like a weed. I, that little Escort would fly. It was a little V6. That thing would fly. Got, that's the only car I got a ticket in. And had to go to whatever, defensive driving class or whatever, and had to get that ticket thrown out of court. Right. <laughs> that's funny. I've owned a lot of cars in my time. Yes. Something y'all don't know about me is I, I was a body man for years. I rebuilt wreck cars and painted Mandy, cars. Mandy, that's awesome. She said she raced an escort one time. <laughs> that's awesome. The, I called mine the escort. Sonia, is she all right? Did she have to get stitches or anything? She said she fell and hit her head. Oh. Lordy mercy. Thank you, Thank guys. You guys. We appreciate you, you all. Will and, Will and Dawn. Dawn. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, drive safely, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Can't wait to see you all again. Well, good. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. That is so awesome. Yay. Will and Don't stop by. Yay. But yeah, I used to paint cars, fix them up, resell them, buy something else, fix it up, paint it, sell it. Read this what Kenneth Oaks said. That is a 1976 GMC Royal Sierra Half Tud 1500 pickup, all original, with 350 V8, four barrel carb, and 350 auto turbo transmission. Dang. That's right. Is that what you saw in me the other That's day? That's right. That's yes, awesome, it is. Kenneth. Golly. That's awesome. We had one just like it, but it was a, it was the 74 model, but it was the Chevy Cheyenne. And it had the 350 with the 350 turbo transmission. Charlie Gordon said, you are Batman. He is Superman and Batman I'm and Batman. Iron Man and Thor and the Hulk all in one. No, I'm Batman. For real, he is. I'm Batman. <laughs> My favorite superhero is the Hulk. My favorite one is Batman. My favorite villain is the Joker. Yeah, mine probably is too. Fat Albert, too. Hey, 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 guys. <laughs> My favorite. Who's your favorite Fat Albert character? Mine's Mushmouth. Probably. Happy you be doobie, yeah. Fat Albert. Mm-hmm. Probably. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you guys. That's right. Oh, they are perfect on. 88 Grand Prix. It was her mom's car, but it saved her life. Did you wreck it? Did you wreck it, Stubbs? We live across Excuse the river me. from Metropolis, Dr. Pepper said. Yeah, steel body saved your life. Yes, yeah, I, for real. I guarantee it did. It probably from did. Metropolis. Right. From the Gotham City. <laughs> My goodness. 
Hey, just don't make him get old steel bodies no more. Wow, Charlie Gordon. My favorite superhero is my father, Korean War veteran and Springfield, Massachusetts police officer. Wow. That's awesome. That yes. is. That's fantastic. Yes, that is it is. What are you having for dinner there, Joe Jeffers? Bye, Joe, honey. Bye, Marilyn. Bye, sweetie. See you, honey. Yeah, Joe Jeffers. Good luck tomorrow. We'll be we'll be praying for yes, you. Joe. We sure will. We'll definitely be praying for you. Let me know how everything turns out. Oh, Joe Jeffers is another one that's a little bit spoiled. A little? Just. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna undo that. What did you do? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Charlie Gordon, I accidentally I hit a wrong button, and I hid your message, and I didn't mean to. Okay, I unhid it. Okay. Never mind. Lord, I thought I undid it. I'm crazy. You barely touch this thing sometimes, and it gives you a... Bye, Brother Joel Jeffers. Thank you, Karen. She's putting her Instagram stuff yes, on Yes, thank you, Karen. Thank you for putting them links up there for us. <clears throat> Yeah, let us know, Joe, how it goes tomorrow, yeah, honey. let us know. If you can't get a hold of Joe, you can call me or message me, because he'll be at work, and I can pass it along. Till 3.30. Yes. 3.30. Well... I like this car talking. You got me all revved up talking about cars. <laughs> talking about cars. Talking about cars. Ooh. At one time in this town. Wow, Charlie. I bet My father's been dead for several years, too. He, he's, he's been gone a while, too. I run around with a big old pack of people. We were just one big family. John, do it. Go live. We, I'd love yeah. to. I would join in. We would yeah. love to. But there was probably... 15. That's okay, Leslie. I'm glad you're still here, honey. There was probably 15 of us that I had have, Tamara's. I heard from Kendra today, yes. Not personally, but I, she commented on something that I posted on um, Facebook. But I, I, I haven't heard anything about her... her gallbladder situation. I haven't heard anything about that. Has anybody heard from Kendra? I hope I hope she gets it taken care of. Me man, too. I, I know that pain. I lived with that crap for years. Dr. Pepper said favorite car was the 85 Cutlass. Man, my favorite car. Kenneth Oak said they had a wreck in that truck back in February, and all it did was the truck was tore the plastic grill out and tore the linkage to the shifter up, but it tore that four, 2014 Chevy Malibu car up like a tin can. <laughs> I bet it wiped that Malibu out. Yes, oh my yeah, gosh. Like hitting it with a tank. I love them old trucks. Them things, you are indestructible. Well, there's Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. How you doing, honey? We need to get out and go, we need to get together and go out to eat, Sharon. I'd like to have me another Camaro. I'd like to have a '76 or a seven. I'd like to have a '79 Iron. Oh yeah. I'd love to have a '79 Iron. That's my one of my favorite cars. Mm -hmm. My favorite cars. Are the 59 to 61 Impalas with the wings on the back and a 51 to a 53 Mercury Gangsta? The 68 to the 70 Chevy Stepsides, Course Novas, Camaros, 72 Novas, 69 to 72, 73 Novas, and Chevelles. But I'm a Camaro man. I bet I've I've owned a lot of Camaros. Charlie Gordon said, um, 
Out of 79 Cutlass Supreme, my favorite car was my 86 Monte Carlo Super Sport. My deranged car is a 57 Chevy Bel Air. Wow. I love that little Bel Air. Scott Bartlett said, did you look at his channel and see his 68 Camaro? Camaro. <laughs> Camaro. My dad calls them Canarios. <laughs> Joe used to drive all them Canarios. No, I ain't seen that. I'm going to have to look at it. Sonia said her favorite is a 66 Mach 1 Mustang with that wing. Yes, I love them. I love them. Hey, I got to give Mustangs oh, cool. credit. I like some Mustangs. I like Fox Bodies. <sighs> I do. I love Fox Body Mustangs. <laughs> I feared that's what you meant, Charlie. I was like, what does he mean by deranged car? He meant dream car. <laughs> I figured he meant drag car. Uh, or dream car, yeah. Mindy said he po she posted a picture of her escort on the Facebook page. And John said his brother-in-law is restoring a 1934 Ford pickup. Wow, I'd love to see that. Hey, oh I, my gosh. When I worked at Times News, this dude had like a... It's all right, Mindy. I think it was like a 70 or Bye, Cody. Model. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it, honey. But there was a guy who worked at Kingsport Times That's News awesome, Sonia. Who had a fully... Hey, Carl. Who had a fully restored gremlin. I mean, mint condition gremlin. It was awesome. Scott Burrow said he had a 56 Bel Air in high school. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. And Nathan said everyone needs a DeLorean. I agree with that. You know, DeLoreans <laughs> are cool cars. They really are. But they're junk. They really are. That's why they never got big is the, the they put the junkiest engines in them things. Right. But they're cool because they're all stainless. And they'll last forever. They'll be on this earth after we're gone. John said he learned to drive in a Pinto. <laughs> That's awesome. Pinto's that is awesome. That is awesome. Dr. Pepper's <clears throat> wife drove a 67 Plymouth Fury. That's awesome. I tell you what, I miss my lowrider. I miss my Chevy S10 lowrider. Had a snug top on it. That's okay, Melissa. Had four fifteens in it. <laughs> pushing about You're fine, honey. Three thousand watts on them. It rocked. Yes. I had a nineteen eighty two Chevy Citation four door. It looked like a turtle. Nope. It did. It looked like a turtle. People even. Thank you, Karen. Called it a turtle. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for posting all those links and everything. And the Karen, PO you're, box. You're, you're on you're the fabulous, ball. fabulous, yes. But this Chevy Citation, everybody called it the hoopty. It's my hoopty. And my hey, nickname. Hey, Tyler. Hey, honey. Hey, Tyler. My nickname was Tyler Batman. Look here. I know, Tyler Batman. He's got, <laughs> he's got a Batman shirt on. I had an eight ball this big painted on the hood of it. Because everybody called me eight ball. And... I had a stereo in that car that was so loud. My mom and dad's driveway to the entrance of South High School was exactly two miles. They could hear me fire my car up and fire my stereo up, and they could hear me from the time I left the parking lot, the parking spot, to the time I pulled in the driveway. My stereo was that loud. Charlie said the creator of the DeLorean got arrested and served many years in prison. What happened? What ha what happened to him? I do know this story, but I don't remember it. And John said he's going to have it. Ashley do a new logo for for them. Ash Ash Tunes, Ashley. Who is? Um, John Adventures in Heartland. Oh, that's cool. Doctor Pepper said he had a ragtop Chevy Blazer lowered and shaved doors, and he hated it. <laughs> yeah, didn't the the guy that uh, that made DeLoreans didn't he like sell a bunch of them and then didn't deliver on them or something like that? I think so. Kenneth Oak said they have an 85 Ford Econoline van. Awesome. Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Had a 69 Firebird. Same color as my hat. Awesome. I'm surprised that car wasn't slow being Tennessee Ord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. 
Yeah, if there's, thank you all for subscribing to each other. Um, if there's anyone on here that you're not subscribed to, check them out, guys. Share the love. What? What's busted that? for cocaine. Scott Bartlett said the DeLorean oh, guy was okay. busted for cocaine. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Tyler, you just come to the right place tonight to get subs. You really That's did. Right. <laughs> That's right. Everybody go sub to everyone. If you see a name on that list, and go see if they got a channel and subscribe. Yes. Jimmy James Journey, Adventures in the Heartland, Blondie's Adventures. Nathan's, Nathan Tyler T's Batman. Halloween and stuff. Yeah, Nathan T's Halloween and stuff. Everybody, Karen Story, Scott Bartlett. Everybody. Simo, Stroh Time. Oh, yeah. Anybody. If I forget, Cashew Paul. Cynthia said she used to street drag for gas money. Gas is 35 cents a gallon. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. You are funny. Once again, guys, make sure you comment on today's vlog so you'll be eligible to right. win the prize, win the prize, the 700 subscriber prize. Because yep. we're going to go ahead and pick it tomorrow evening when Joe gets home from work. Yeah. So we're we going to go ahead and do 800. it so we can do the 800 one because we hit 800 today sometime. I wonder what our numbers is now. I don't know. Eight eleven. Eight eleven. Just blows my mind. Oh no, we're we're not gonna draw tonight. We're gonna do it tomorrow when um yeah. when Joe gets home from work. We're gonna give y'all another day. We're gonna give everybody another day and then tomorrow we'll draw it about this time. And oh then. no, no, no. On I put up I put a uh vlog up this morning and you comment on that vlog. She's wearing this hat. I'm wearing this hat. That video. Go look at that video and watch it. And leave and a comment. You watch it, comment. On that vlog. On and that vlog. you'll be eligible to win the next drawing. Go on there and comment. Big Joe's the coolest guy on earth. <laughs> and you'll be eligible. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, I thought you did, Melissa. No, just comment anything. <laughs> you goober. <laughs> He's so silly. Uh, Karen, thank you. <laughs> you are so funny. Well, we've been on here an hour and a half. We're having so much fun. I know. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> we always do have fun. We always have fun with oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. That, that's fine, John. It said it wants to put your pick up on the video I'm posting. Is that okay? Or would you want me to change it? Oh, yeah. That's oh, fine. That's fine. The, 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 the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm in Thank a lot you, of Ruthie. Thumbnails. We love you too, honey. They're used to seeing this pretty thing. All right, Dr. Pepper. Thank you for stopping by, honey. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you for coming by, Dr. Pepper. Thank you, Ruthie. <laughs> They're talking about their school alma mater, <laughs> Cynthia and Mindy. <laughs> That's so funny. Tyler, you are racking up. Awesome. Everybody's racking up. All right, Nathan. Have a good one, honey. Appreciate you coming by. Yes, thank you for See coming soon. by, Nathan. It, we're vaping. <laughs> and it's called... Show them the juice. It's Smoky Mountain Shine. And the flavor is melon ball. Awesome. We will check that out, John. We sure will. This juice is honeydew, cantaloupe, and watermelon flavored. Thank you, Nathan. You too, honey. 
Jimmy James found you a new thrift store. Where is it? In Pigeon Forge? Wednesday, Wednesday. Woo! Spins Oh my gosh. Wednesday. Step said vaping blew up in, in her face. How did it blow up in your face? No. Battery shorted. Yeah, if you ever vape mm. and you feel that vape get warm, put it down. Yes. If your batteries get hot, put it down. You guys try slug juice. What's slug juice, Cynthia? I've actually heard of oh, that. Oh, cool. I've actually heard of that. You found three in Pigeon Forge today. Oh, my gosh. You know, I quit smoking cigarettes a long time ago. Well. When we got together. A little bit after that, yeah. So, February. it's been been about a year and a half or so since I quit smoking cigarettes. My son's allergic to cigarette smoke. And, it, like, if you get it on his cl your clothes and hug him and stuff, he gets a rash. So, they don't it part, bother him. Spark in his face, in her face. My oh, goodness. just a spark. Yay, Jeremy. We're on a really low nicotine level. We're only on six. Yeah, Literally. we're only on six. Oh, okay. Um, slug juice is vape juice they sell in the Smokies. We'll have to check it out. We really will. I knew I'd heard of it. I, yeah, we will. Somebody was telling me Scott about Bartlett it. quit three years ago in you November. Did it in Knoxville is it the store Knoxville Vape or something like that? I think it's called Knoxville Vape. Oh, Joe, huh. Karen Story has a question for you. Oh, I know what Sistroming is. Yeah, he knows what that is. I know what it is. The bad part of that is I don't eat seafood. I don't eat fish. That's cool, Scott. I'm thinking about going down to three myself. But, for the YouTubes, I just might. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm just curious. People eat it so it can't kill you. You might wish he was dead. I might wish I was dead. You never know. I might like it. We'll have to check that out. I've seen a lot of videos with Sistrami in it. Oh, I know. The one with Angry Grandpa is... Whew. Oh, my gosh. That is funny. Oh, yuck. I don't know if I can get past the smell to put it in my mouth. I wouldn't do it in the house. No. No. That is no way I'd stink my house up with No, that. no, 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 no. And durian fruit. I want to try durian fruit. Have oh, you ever gross. heard of durian yes. fruit? Yes. Whoo. Smelliest fruit on earth. I want to try it just to see what it tastes like. You're crazy. People eat it, though. Yeah, but why? Ooh. Somebody likes yeah, it. Yeah, it's supposed to be the stinkiest fish on the planet. Yeah. Gag. That's just disgusting. I don't know if I could stand it. I would try it just to say yes. I have tried it. I would. Kenneth said, where'd you see him and his dad the other day? You were coming down Moreland Drive. That's what I think, Leslie. People just want to throw up. You were tr you were coming down Moreland Drive, and I was pulling off of Somerville, and I got in behind you and tried to catch up to you, but before I could get to the red light, y'all had turned left on some uh, Rock Springs. Scott Bartlett said, rancid shark is big in Greenland. Tastes like ammonia. Shh. Ever try Island Burger cheese? No. No. I've never tried that. Yuck. Yeah, sastroming is a, a fermented Thank fish. Thank you, Melissa. It's fermented. So it's probably close to the rancid shark. That's cool, Sharon. Cynthia's husband liked Limburger cheese. Yeah. So Stroming is from Finland, ain't it? Norway. Norway. Somewhere over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, guys, we've been on here an hour and a half. So I think we're going to shut her down. And plus, I think Bob's going live. Yeah, I think Bob's going live too. So we'll let him. And I don't want to upset Bob. Yeah, we'll have him, we'll let him have. Um, Limburger cheese. What's wrong with you people? I agree, Jeremy. Ooh. Cynthia likes tripe soup. 
Good night, Ruthie. I've heard of trap soup, but I'm not sure what it is. Night, Ruthie. All right, guys. Make sure you comment on to this, this morning's vlog. Not this. Not the live stream. Comment on this morning's vlog so you'll be entered to win the prize. Big Lou. I just saw Big Lou come in. Hey, Big Lou. Hey, Big, Big Lou. Lou. Lamar and Sharon, Alabama. Hey, how are you all? Welcome, guys. We're just getting ready to leave, but thank you for joining us. We appreciate that. Bring you chili. If your car's fixed, come get it. Yes. <laughs> I've got a big old pot of it. And Big Joe might eat a little more. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Joe, trap soup, run. <laughs> what is trap soup? How are you, Big Lou? You doing all right? What is trap soup? I don't soup? know what trap soup is. I don't know. So, what is trap soup? Does anybody know? Bye, Leslie. Love you, honey. Bye, Leslie. I don't know what trap soup is. Bye, Mandy. Love you. I've heard of it, though. Intestines. Scott Bartlett said intestines. That's chitlins. No. Sharon said she thinks it's tongue. Intestines is chitlins, ain't it? Ma Mandy Bland said it's the second stomach of a cow. Ooh. I'd try it, though. Well, tell Simo we said hello. Mm -hmm. Bye, Karen. Love you. Trap his stomach. Big Lou said he's doing good. Guys, Simo says hello. Tell Simo we said hello. Everybody's cutting out. All right, guys. Thank y'all for joining us this evening. We've yes, we have we have enjoyed it. We've we had fun. We love you guys you. so much. And, and thanks all of you all for helping us get to 800 subscribers. 800 subscribers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We love it. We love Kenneth. you. Kenneth. And you. And you, we love all y'all. Kenneth wants to be able to meet us in person. We live close to you, yeah, Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. We just live over here next to Meadowview. We live right at the foot of Base Mountain. We, live we can Meadowview. make it happen, buddy. We sure can. Sure do. Bye, guys. Good night. We'll see you soon. See you, guys. Love, love you, guys. Ya.